Despite the new generation of consoles being upon us, we didn't get something that is always a showcase of how powerful a new machine can be. We didn't get a brand new first party racing game. Sure, Dirt 5 was a superb launch racer for both PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, don't get us wrong, but it's the first party racers that almost always show off how incredible the visuals can be on a new console. That said, we did get a Series X and S update for Forza Horizon 4, which is still one of the best racers of the generation, and many would argue it's the best open world driving game since Burnout Paradise came into our lives back in 2008. With a 4K resolution and 60 frames per second update, Forza Horizon 4 looks and plays amazingly, but, and forgive us for this, it's not a new game, and it's not even a game with new content. Until now, that is. During a Forza monthly stream by the developers Playground Games, the Super 7 was announced for Forza Horizon 4. This new mode is available right now, so if you needed an excuse to boot the game up and get playing, it seems like now is a great time to do that and there were plenty of rumours swirling that Playground Games were about to announce a new game in the series, but given that they are hard at work developing a new Fable game for Xbox Series X and S, perhaps their hands are a little bit full, though we wouldn't be at all shocked if a new Horizon game came before the rebooted Forza Motorsport title that has been announced by the series' creators, Turn 10 Studios. Super 7 looks like it borrows a little bit of Trackmania, a helping of Dirt 5's playground, and mashes it all up with the already brilliant Forza Horizon 4 goodness. Essentially, it's a track designer, and you can go as mad or as safe as you fancy and create challenges to upload online. The aim of the mode, ultimately, is to take part in seven challenges to compete for rewards, some of which are exclusive cars. Now don't panic, because yes, there will be some really hard challenges, but you can essentially pass on those ones, burning one of your seven challenge cards and moving on to maintain the fun over becoming something that could actually annoy you. The challenges take place anywhere on the map and can use any car, even if you don't own the car required for the challenge. So it's hugely accessible and community focused, and it's out right now, even better. So for more on Forza Horizon 4 and all things Xbox, head to NME.com.